what day it was. Pretty sure it's Tuesday. Um, happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm gonna wait till someone comes on quickly so I'm not talking to myself. But for those who are new, my name is Kelly Rennie. I am the creator of Busy Mum Fitness and I've been training mums now for six years. And we haven't, you know, we haven't just sold people onto program mums onto programs. We've really dived in and spoken to mums and really um, found out what does affect mum before mums before taking action. And if any of my mums are on here, come in and say hi. Uh, something that comes up first of all. I'm going on a total tangent here, but bear with me. There are some really great points that I'm going to point out. But being a mum is tough, right? Being a mum can be challenging. Being a mum brings up fears that we never knew we had. And it can be super overwhelming when you add in the task around motherhood and being busy to take action with your health and fitness. In fact, for some mums, and what I see mums that are affected by anxiety or depression, taking action with your health and fitness can just be another whole daunting step because it's an element of trying to be perfect when things are never going to be perfect. And the reality is, is that daunting feeling is something that you've only created. Okay, and you're probably sitting there going, no, Kelly, you know, being a busy mum is real. My life is real. I haven't got time. I'm, you know, feel guilt. I've, da, da, da. I've heard all of that for the last six years. And the reality of that is completely true. All right. But, but there is a but here. You can take action with your health and fitness around it all. And the way to do that is by creating sustainable routines and rituals that are suitable to you. Now, every mum that has come on our program has a completely different life. Whether a mum has 12 minutes to work out, whether a mum has six minutes to work out, whether a mum has 24 minutes to work out, there's always something that we can do. Whether a mum can just drink water today, whether a mum can fit in three meals, every single one of those elements are still going to make you feel good. Every single one of those elements are still going to get you results. The element of it being daunting, the element of it being overwhelming is only something that is leading you down a negative path and a negative spiral that is only going to create more anxiety and more weight gain. So the question is, what are you sick of? Are you sick of complaining about your weight? Are you sick of not having enough energy? Are you sick of not having enough body confidence? Well, if the answer is yes to all of those, then you need to start to create better routines and rituals and create a new identity about yourself. Because I, someone said to me today, but I'm a single mum. And I went, but I'm a single mum. And oh, I've got to pay a mortgage. Well, you know, I've got bills to pay too. I said, can, um, can you drink water? She was like, yeah. She was like, okay, all right, okay. Can you eat three healthy meals a day? Yeah, yeah, okay. In the end, if your headspace is always in the overwhelm, if your headspace is always in the I'm daunting, if the headspace is always in yesterday, you're never going to be able to move forward. And... If you can focus on the small things, if you can focus on getting rid of this creation of it being daunting, because it's not, you know, one of the biggest things that, you know, we, we get commented on and reviews about is the approach that we have to health and fitness. Um, and a lot of the hierarchy for this is being happy, you know, being happy as a mum. Because when you're happy, that takes away the daunting feeling. When you're happy, that creates, you know, a way, it takes away a lot of the stress. But how do we do that? We decide. And we decide within each moment to do something possible. And don't get me wrong, you will have days that you'll cry. You will have days that you're stressed. You will have days that are challenging. That's just, that's called being a human. All right? And that's to be expected. But 
you bring yourself back to the present moment and you constantly ask yourself, what is it that I can do? What is it that I can do to be a better mum? And your kids need healthy food. If you're not feeding them yourself healthy food, what are your kids eating? So, you know, be that inspiration. And when you're feeding your kids right, that will more than likely take away the guilt that you're creating that's not actually there, okay? And let me just say, each and every one of you are doing the best jobs you can. We're all doing the best jobs we can. I'm doing the best job I can. I'm not perfect. I'm definitely not a perfect mother. But I do know that the actions that I take each and every day of my life, I'm doing the best I can. And I'm always learning. I'm always surrounded by people that are educating me. I've always got you know, really good friend support. And one of the reasons why mums come in, into our communities is to have that mum support. You know, like if you are surrounded and you're not able to control what's going on in your mind, being in a like-minded environment is always going to help you get there so much faster. So let's get rid of anything that's created that daunting feeling. Let's get rid of the stress today. Let's take, you know, do, we want one of the things that we were focusing on in our community this week was inner peace. And what was it one thing that they could do this week to create inner peace? Because inner peace is so important. And that's something that we have to take action with individually, even if it's getting into bed early. So you all deserve it. You all deserve health, happiness, abundant joy to live an incredible life. And if you need the help, then reach out. So have a wonderful Tuesday. I hope that all made sense as usual. Just go for a tangent. But I'm going to put the link up here for our 24th of June program just opened. If you've been thinking about it, if you're still in the same place you were eight weeks ago, then take action. Your health is worth everything. Don't search for it once it's gone. I'll speak to you soon.